Hey guys, uh, this is Mark from Thor. Today we're going to be showing you how to do a quick install on the 480 HD modulator. Uh, it does have a brand new updated firmware that's a little complicated at first. Uh, today we're going to be showing you this model, number 8, in Qualm. And we put a PDF on the actual page. So if you guys scroll all the way down here, uh, you can actually find it right here. It's going to be the last PDF we just put in. Uh, so if you click on that, it's going to give you step-by-step uh, -step instructions on everything or about everything I'm about to go over. Um, a lot of stuff is pretty straightforward, but we did want to make a couple points uh, that might make it a little easier for you guys to understand. Uh, if you're on site or on location and you need assistance, just call our support line 1-800-521-8467 extension 2. And one of the technicians uh, will hopefully be able to help you out right away uh, if you're in a jam. But uh, otherwise, uh, if you get the unit first and want to pre-program it, uh, this is a fairly easy, straightforward way to do it. Uh, so again, a lot of this stuff is going to be on the PDF that I'm going to go over. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is open up your browser and you're going to want to select... Uh, the unit which up here we left at this IP address and this is going to be our splash screen all right so nothing new here so when you click on encoder again this is the four channel and you only have two input options so once you click on the first one you're going to go to channel one and you're going to have two HDMI inputs here, okay? And from here you can adjust whether you want MPEG-2, H.264, your interface, uh, your input, your resolution. You can actually select if you like. A lot of stuff is just auto. And again, the vast majority of you are gonna be needing AC3 and MPEG-2 if you're in North America like we are. Uh, and here you can select your data rate up to about 18 megs. Um, for HD if you like. Again, if you're doing something different like IP, I'm going to show you guys how you can put multiple program streams into a single channel or, tra or actually output. Um, and down here, you're going to have your basic setup of how many megabits you're outputting. So if you change this to 18, for example, and you hit apply, this is going to jump up in a second once it hits. Um, so the other thing you can do is actually click here and show advanced mode. And this is going to give you a few other options, uh, including closed captioning, uh, which you've got to input through CVBS uh, if you're using the HDMI input. Um, and again, other here, you have some options uh, for interface and audio gain. Uh, and see, so you can see here that now we have bitrate jumping up. It's going to restart the encoding process, which is this little gap. And when it starts encoding again you have that going on so one of the bigger questions that we see is one this model in particular uh, does not have uh, the ability to just select your channel frequencies at will uh, they have to be linear like this in a fashion that's just one through four so in this case you can see um, we start at channel two and go th right through channel five you can pick manual and select your frequencies over here. You can select again, North America is going to be B. Um, and then you can pick your frequency here. You can turn the channel on and off 256 qualm. So the newest addition here is going to be this encoder matrix. Okay. So here you have output one through four. Those are your four program transport streams uh, because again, this is a quad encoder. Each input has its own encoder. Uh, so this is going to allow you to do a variety of different things. So the first thing I wanted to show you is that if you have, let's say this output stream set to one, you can actually see all your inputs here. Okay. And select them all. And then you can actually go ahead and refresh the output and now all four programs on transport stream one are going to go to the output 
So what does that mean? This means that you can actually put four channels or four programs in one frequency, which would be one RF channel. So if you actually expand this, you can see that this is going to be again on a variety of channels. So you have all your program streams now set up to be on one RF. The other thing you need to do though, since if you remember on our modulator page, is that there were two, three, four, and five. So in order to change that, you actually have to click on this. Okay, and you can set up here, uh, sub channel number is very important. You wanna set this to one, uh, otherwise it's gonna show up as 2.1, okay? So that's the first thing. Then what you also need to do is go to VCT insert, and that's gonna be your channel, uh, virtual channel insertion, and it's gonna be on CVCT for QAM or TVCT for ATSC, okay? That's the most important thing. So if you go back here, now, for example, I wanna set these up, let's say all on channel two. Uh, we're gonna leave this as, this is, instead of 2.1, it's gonna be sub-channel one, okay? And it's really important. And then you can come here and put in whatever program name you want, hit apply, okay? So we're gonna do this for all of them. So now it's gonna be two, because this is gonna be your second sub-channel. Again, it's gonna be, the major and minor are less relevant, but just to keep everything in order, um, you know, I'm just gonna pick different options here for them. This can be ESPN2. <clears throat> the following one, we can go here and do Fox. Again, this is gonna be sub-channel three because this is our third program in one RF channel. Okay. And now we're gonna go to the last one. And, and again, this is going to be on channel four uh, or sub channel um, four on the uh, major, which is going to be two. We're going to change this to seven so they're all different. Okay, so essentially now what you're going to see is they're all going to be on number two, but because we changed the sub channel number, they're going to show up as 2.1. This one is going to be 2.2. This one is going to be uh, 2.5. And then this one is going to be uh, 2.4. Um, again, so you can go through here and change all those. And it should show up exactly like that um, on your TV. Make sure you hit apply. And after you're done changing all this, uh, make sure you always go to your configuration, save config, give it a second, and then it'll start working for you. All right, so this is really important. This is just an example of how to put four programs on one RF. Uh, otherwise, if you don't wanna do that, we can go back to our RF and I'll show you standard uh, procedure for making everything uh, linear, so to speak, is I can make all these 18 for full HD, okay? And what we're gonna do is now, instead of putting them all on one RF, we can do two and two, 